Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. This is the prophecy of Isaiah that is fulfilled in Christ Jesus in a particular way in what he has to say today in the gospel from Matthew about building our house on rock. And in the first place, that rock is Jesus Christ who comes to us so that we might know and love him. When we think about the rock, we often think about St. Peter and the promise that our Lord made to him that the gates would not prevail against, the gates of hell would not prevail against the church because of him, because of the charism that was entrusted to him to teach the faith, to hand it on and to protect it. And that is, you know, the foundation of, of our Christian faith and observance. You know, Christ is the rock. Christ is the rock. Peter is the rock upon which uh, Christ builds his church. The church is, is foundation. And in our belief, handed on to us through the Ho Holy Roman Catholic Church, we have access to the mind of Christ. We know that we are following the will of God when we follow the teachings of the church. But if you notice, when our Lord presents this figure, he, he doesn't say, um, everyone who listens to these words and believes them builds their house on a rock. And, and of course, you know, we have to accept all that the church teaches. But our Lord is saying that that's, that's not enough. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man. And so this figure of, of the rock is not just about the teaching of the church. It's also about our, commun our, our complete communion with Christ, which is first of all based on his teaching. But it means that we accept what he, be what, what he teaches us. We say we believe we, and then we act like we believe. We accept these teachings into our, into our mind and we translate them into, into deeds and into a life of penance, prayer, and communion with the Lord. It's only when the teachings of Jesus have an effect in our life when it brings us to repentance, to deeper faith, to deeper prayer, to the works of uh, the corporal and spiritual works of mercy that we can say that, that we are truly um, building our house on a rock and, and in that way we will be uh, able to withstand uh, the storms of the world, the flesh, and the devil. During Advent, you know, we want to prepare for the coming of Jesus by making sure that our house is built in this way. And I also think of St. Francis uh, who came uh, and was raised up by God and the Blessed Mother to rebuild the church and to do so on this foundation. You know, the church at the time, even, even during Christendom, uh, sometimes had the character of being a house that had been blown down because while the faith was being taught, it wasn't always being lived. And so St. Francis came to preach penance and prayer, to inspire others to turn away from sin and towards God and to profess themselves before all else as penitents, as those who have recognized the mercy of God and their own sinfulness and are grateful for the opportunity to grow closer uh, to God. And so at, at the beginning of today's gospel, Jesus says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the ones who do the will of my Father in heaven. You know, to truly reach out to, to Christ, to truly um, understand what it means to live in communion with Christ, we have to, first of all, repent and make that a character of our life uh, throughout, throughout our, our spiritual journey 
foundation, part of this, this rock which is to hear and put into practice is, is humility, is a recognition, a recognition of who we are and who God is and where we really stand before the Lord. And if we really understood that, we would always be humble, we would always be uh, grateful for what the Lord has done for us and we would always be searching for his holy will to be devout you know to have to live a, a life of devotion the devout life is to be ready to hear the word of God and put it into practice ready to accept his will to carry the cross to repent to correct ourselves to be docile to be open to the grace of God so let us, as we continue during this Advent, uh, build our spiritual lives on the rock, which is Christ, which is the church, which is the teaching of the church, and which is this desire uh, to, to hear and to put into practice, not to hear only, but to allow the word of God to penetrate us deeply and to change our lives. We always have to be willing to change. We should never be satisfied where we are, but always desire us to, go, to grow closer to the Lord. May this be the grace we experience in the, in the holy sacrifice of the Mass today, especially when we have the opportunity to receive Jesus in Holy Communion.